might she be to slimy me? Well and more than well, Finn O'Grady. But what brings you to our humble cottage? As if we didn't know. <laughs> I, oh, well. Out with the man, stay your business here. State your business, state your business. <laughs> well, you see, it's, it's like this. State your business, state your business. <laughs> Darling, would you be so kind to invite your big brother back into the house so the lad and myself can talk? <laughs> but mother, I want to hear what Finn has to say. Can't you see this man is tongue-tied? You take your brother back in and I'll tell you the tale soon enough. Yes, mother. I'll bite you, fully of a brother. It's time for your commandment. Oh! Land tops, indeed. <laughs> All right then, Finn. Is that better? Yes. Thank you, Mrs. Sit. So what's on your mind? As if I didn't know. It's the hand of Fagin you'll be asking for, isn't it? How did you know? Do you think love is something that can be hidden under a bushel basket? Faith, my boy, your feelings for each other are as plain as the grubby noses on your grimy faces. And you don't mind? Mind? Why should I mind? You're an honest fellow, and Fagin thinks the world of you. She'd make for you a good wife. I raised her to be a hard worker and fearless. Well then, I guess you can send the name called priest. Yes, <laughs> but one thing more. Tell me, if you can, what treasure you have to give my Pagin to tickle her mind and warm her heart on those long days when you're out in the field tending your sheep. Treasure? <laughs> I'm just a poor shepherd. I could give her soft card of wool and fleece to keep her warm. Wool and fleece? I'm speaking of a far greater treasure. Now speak up, don't be shy. The treasure I speak of grows more than you give it away. But I have neither gold nor jewels. Bah, gold and jewels. What use would a poor country girl have for such things? And now don't make me start thinking you're not the man for my Pagin after all. I'm afraid I don't know what you mean by treasure. Are you daft, man? I'll give the girl to you soon enough, but you better have a box full of tales to share. Tales? Stories. It's as dense as a sheep I'm thinking of you are. <laughs> <laughs> a story is something that grows the more valuable you give it away. But I don't know any stories. Don't know any stories? Not a one? Are you certain? I know the three little pigs. That's my story. But a story of your own is what I'm wanting. Of my own? I have to make it up myself? A person with a knack for telling stories will never be a pauper, and his wife will never stray to another pastor. Wait, so I can't marry Pagin without first telling you a story? I'm afraid not. Where am I to find such a thing? Here, take this potato and sit down on that stuff over there. Maybe it's inspirational. A potato? Consider it a food. 